Okay, uh, this is a quick video on uh, slope and steepness, which is kind of a chapter 7 thing that we're working on. And uh, we've studied lines now for quite a while, and we understand that we can measure the growth of a line. Um, it only takes two points to actually make a line. So let's imagine I have a point at 1, 1, and then another point at 2, 3. So you go ahead and you set up a graph, and uh, you might have to pause the video for a second just so you can draw your own graph and kind of catch up with me. But I'm going to take these two points and, and put them on this graph. I'm going to put 1, 1 right here at 1, 1, right at those coordinate points. And 2, 3 means I'm going to go over 2, up 3, and put a point right there. And maybe we, we could label these points like A and B or something like that, but I'm just going to draw them on here. 1, 1, and 2, 3. So, uh, the second I've got two points on my graph, that's all it takes to really draw a line. So I'm going to take my ruler here, and I'm going to connect these two points together. I'm going to try and make it look as best I can. And I'm going to extend my line pretty far. And because a line goes on forever and ever, I'll draw arrows both directions, indicating that. What I want to do is I want to measure the growth of this line. And we've been practicing growth. We know we can draw what's called a growth triangle. I could take these two points and basically draw this triangle that connects them. And I'll shade it in. And then I can measure the dimensions of the triangle. So if you look really closely, this triangle goes over 1. And if you count up, it goes up 2 squares, so up 2. So I can kind of see what my growth triangle looks like. We're going to add some new labels to this triangle today. Usually we call it rise over run. So we're measuring the rise and run. But I'm going to call it something else. I'm actually going to go to the rise here, the 2, and give it another name. I'm going to draw this little triangle, because we've got a triangle here. And it's a measurement of 2, but if you look, the 2 is going straight up and down. It's vertical. It matches the y-axis. This is the y-axis. This is going up 2, so this is the change in the y axis. The 1 is going across, it's just like the x axis here. It's going across the same direction as the x axis. So I'm going to draw a little triangle and put an x. And so really the rise and the run is the y and the x if you measured the increments. And I'm using these little triangles, it's a Greek symbol, it's called the delta symbol. So this little triangle that I'm drawing really means delta in the Greek language. And delta uh, stands for change. So when I read this, some you know I'll either say delta y over delta x, or change in y over change in x. This is the change in the y on the graph. It changed two squares. This is the change in the x, changed by one. So when I say rise over run, it's the exact same thing as delta y over delta x, change in y over change in x, which is really this whole thing. I'm going to put a box around this. This is the formula for finding slope. So when we start talking about what is slope, we're talking about what's the growth of the line, what's the rise and run, delta y over delta x. So for this problem, we'll go over to the other side here, delta y over delta x equals 2 over 1. So this thing has a 2 over 1 slope. Now 2 over 1 is a fraction. 2 divided by 1 is 2. So if somebody asked you, what's the slope of this line? You'd say the answer is 2. It has a slope of 2. And the slope's basically just a number that's going to indicate how big is the growth triangle. Big slope numbers mean you have really steep lines. Steep line means it's pointing straight up. Um, little slope numbers mean you've got a really flat line. So we're going to put a little note about that down here. I'm going to slide this up. Uh, a, kind of a special note. If you've got a really steep line, then your line is pointing, you know, directly up or vice versa, straight down. And I think of it as like if I had to walk up this line, uh, it's like walking up a mountain. You're going to be sore by the time you get to the top because it's really steep. So I'm going to write very steep. A line that's not very steep is something that looks really flat, like here's a line. It's going up, but really slowly. Look how flat it is. If I had to walk up that line, I doubt I'd be sore at the end of this. 
So um, it's not steep, not very steep, and uh, it, it's practically flat. If a line is really steep, like this first one, it's going to have a big slope number, a big growth number. So I'm going to write it'll have a big slope number. If it's not steep, it's going to have a little number. So it's going to have, this example is going to have a little slope number. And that's a really big difference. A big slope versus a little slope has to do with steepness. Very, very steep very big slope triangle. Not very steep, really flat, little triangle, little slope number. And uh, it's all measured with these delta y's over delta x's. So let me slide this up and give you one last example here. Let's imagine we have a bunch of delta y, delta x formulas. So I tell you that delta y over delta x equals, uh, and I tell you it, uh, it equals 6 over 2. Okay, well that's telling you that you have a line, and I don't want to really draw the graph or anything, but on the line, if you took two points and made a triangle, that triangle is going over 2 and up 6. That's what's going on on the graph. So this is your delta y, and this is your delta x, which is great. You can leave it like that, or a lot of people like to simplify this. This just means, oops, sorry, this just means 6 divided by 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So a lot of people just like to say, hey, the slope of the line is 3, even though it's this fraction with 6 over 2. If someone told you delta y over delta x equaled, uh, how about this, 2 over 6, the opposite. Well, then the line and the triangle look a little bit different. Probably looks, you know, maybe more like this. Um, you've got two points. I'll make a triangle. Now it's going over six and up two. You can kind of see how that triangle changed. Two is your delta y. Six is your delta x on the graph, which means it's a little bit flatter and uh, it's still got similar growth numbers, but you're not going to be able to divide this down. The only thing you can do with this fraction is reduce it. 2 divided by 6, if you reduce it down, is the same as 1 third. This is a small slope, it's a little fraction. 1 third, if you type it into your calculator, 1 divided by 3, it's a little decimal. It's 0.333 repeating. Much smaller than the number 3. So we have to reduce this fraction down. And remember how you reduce a fraction if you've kind of forgotten. You can divide the top and bottom by the same number. Divide 2 divided by 2, that's 1. Divide 6 by 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So that's what I did, I reduced my fraction. So two kind of different uh, growths, two different types of slopes. The lines look a little different even though the numbers were the same. If, I can show you one more here. If delta y over delta x equals a negative something, let's say it's negative 4 over 1. Okay, the negative's indicating that instead of the line going up, this line's going down. And it's going down 4 over 1. So it drops down 4, goes over 1. So negative 4 over 1. The negative tells you that it's dropping down. That's your delta y, and that's your delta x, if I labeled it. So down 4 over 1, negative helps you figure that out. And really, negative 4 divided by 1, you can just say negative 4. You don't need that over 1. So the slope of the line is negative 4. If I had said, okay, delta y over delta x equals the opposite, maybe something more like 1 over 5. Okay, well, one-fifth, if I asked you to simplify it, really can't be simplified. You can't, you can't reduce this fraction down. It's already as small as it's going to get. So you're going to have to leave it as one-fifth. And it means if you were to actually draw your, your line, it's probably another really flat line that goes like over 5 and up 1. Something like that. So here's your delta y, and here's your delta x. So really, 
slope is all about steepness. It's how to measure the growth. It's using a triangle and setting up a fraction. Sometimes you can reduce your fraction and sometimes you're stuck with the fraction. It, it just kind of depends on what you end up with. So I guess the final note here is if you had to define what is slope, you'd say it's a measurement tool. It measures steepness. So measures the steepness of a graph or the steepness of a line. And it comes in a formula. It's always delta y over delta x, which really a lot of people remember that as rise over run. Rise over run. And in our class, we often just call that uh, the growth of a line, but rise over run. So keep watching. We're going to do a lot more videos on slope. We want to get it down really well.